So a little while ago the folks over at Siemens did something fantastic and I haven't had a chance to talk about it. A big fan, I'm going to gush a little bit, you'll have to forgive me. It's located under the Unite tool. Now target and tool, still the same basic selections, I want to pick this target. You can only have one target, but you can have as many tools as you want. In this case I just have the one and as soon as I select the one you'll notice it wants to do the Unite. I know it does because it uh, you can see the color change of that body. Once the two bodies become one, the attributes of the target basically override the attributes of the tool. So in this case you can see it turns blue. What I want to do is turn on Define Regions. Now with its Define Regions I can specify select the region that I want to keep. In this case I want to pick this top portion. You'll notice it highlights the top portion and the bottom is going to go away. What this does is basically it recognizes that the uh, entire uh, tool body has been split by that target body. So rather than having to do that trim, right, split that body or trim that body away or whatever function you may be using, with this all I need to do is tell it I want to keep the upper portion and that lower portion now magically disappears. So I select OK and it is attached. If something happens to this, gets modified, let me go ahead and show that sketch. Just grab that, move it off the part, finish. You can see that the system now keeps that entire region. It says, okay, I, you know, I understand that you want to keep it, but because it's no longer being trimmed away, it just unites the entire thing. If the modification goes back in the opposite direction, just drag this back in, hit finish, you'll see that it maintains that relationship. Does a great job. So for things that you need to mount, uh, attach, let's say dog houses in this case, or uh, four-way locators, or two-way locators, whatever that may be, especially your uh, injection molded parts, this is gonna be really useful for things that additive manufacturing, you no longer have to uh, trim away, add a bunch of features, it's really super nice. Um, also, you'll note under that Unite tool, uh, I have separate target and tool regions. So if I click on that, I can now pick different regions on the target and different regions on the tool that I want to maintain. It's not just off of the tool in this case. So this allows you now to basically divide each up, uh, uh, each of them up. So if there's a region on the target that you want to keep, you don't have to trim away, you just use this. If there's a region on the tool that you want to keep, again, just make sure you have these turned on and or off correctly. So I'll just turn that back off, return to what I once had, select OK, and just like that, my part is united and the region that I don't want is trimmed away. Thanks for watching. This is Steve with Class A Surfacing. Please like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe. If you have friends that need to learn a little bit about NX and or Katia, please share with your friends and colleagues.